Hello everyone, my name is Hero, and welcome back to my AC Builds Garage. I hope to bring you many good, strong, and very wacky AC builds that you at home could give a try on. My end products will always grant you an understanding as to what my builds do, and how well they fare in certain content. And like always, I always recommend you give them a try at least once, and then use them as a base template for new and exciting builds to build upon. Today's build is designed for those that enjoy feeling fast and utilising mobility to the max so that you can apply pressure up close and personal. Meet my latest build, Bullet Time. My Bullet Time build is designed for ground to ground combat and making full use of its light frame to dodge damage up close and do simple hit and runs, while also being able to dish out damage out fairly well. Utilising joint legs, the following allows us not only the mobility but also the quick dodge factor that overall allows players to cover ground without needing to use too much energy to make in. A highly effective as it makes running circles around a single target a pain if they can't lock onto you effectively. At the same time, making use of the dual sidearms with aerial denial rockets and aggressive orbital bullet platform allows us to apply pressure upon pressure onto a single target to the point of where escapes become much more harder to avoid. This is all about up close and personal and being as aggressive as possible while landing a shot, as it's hard for most single ACs to react and fight back effectively. It can also punish heavy frames that try to be too greedy with the shots, which you can then use against them and their slowness. To achieve what I have, I've gone with a reverse joint that allows me the advantage of covering more ground with less energy required via dodging. Starting with weaponry, I have the dual collect sidearms. Out of the variations we have selected, the following provides a decent attack, impact and magazine size compared to what others offers. The upgrade to these would be the HG004 Ducket with higher attack and impact damage, but it trades us in for a less total rounds overall. Although this is minor when compared, it's only recommend you go for the Ducket if you don't waste ammo and you know you can land your shots. In PvP, this can be make or break because of the added on pressure by players, but in PvE story missions or arena fights, you have plenty of opportunities to do what you like. Support my primaries, I have the BO-044 Huxley Bullet Orbit Back Unit. The following works very well when combined with a fast and aggressive AC, as the damage you can mount will add up over time. You do have to be careful when using the following as it can overheat and place you in a vulnerable spot once in use, but using it to engage and then disengage will prevent overheat. Now if you do go up against an AC that tries to keep their distance as best as possible, then having the BML-G1 P32 Duo-03 is a great choice for that. The following allows Agile ACs to close the gap by applying dual missile pincer movements which you can use to your advantage. The idea I had here is that with the two rockets coming towards the target, you can cut them off in the middle easily where mini combat and close range weaponry achieves the most wins. At best, this will place the enemy AC in a dilemma as they won't have a lot of areas to back off from except going backwards. However, this isn't always the case where players will fall into our trap, so using the BML G1 P07 VTC 12, the Cell 12 rocket launcher is a great alternative choice for both damage and pressure. I did also use the 45 091 JVLN beta at one point, but its AoE effect is very easy to avoid and it seems to work best when paired with other AoE weapons as well. Armor I went for is to focus on getting enough armor points to tank shots but also being stable enough so that you don't get stunned too easily, while having relatively fast energy recovery if possible. For this, I had the following. Head, we have the HC2 version, that's BC Shadeye. Body, we have the Natch 40E. Arm, we have the Natch 46E. Legs, we have the 06-042 Mind Beta. For a booster, we have the Lua 21E. FCS, we have the IBWLT001. Generator is the VP 200, which is the best I can fit to my AC. And expansion is down to you, but assault armor is a good choice. The pros and cons for using the build does vary, but a lot of it, of course, is understandable. 
Firstly, the mobility and energy region rate for the build is excellent enough to fully bring out the strength of the build with targeting solo targets on your own. Combining the high impact our dual side arm to provide with our shoulder mounted bullet orbit can increase stagger damage within a few shots and apply so much pressure that escaping tends to be the right course for most ACs. This is where our AC strength fully comes out as escaping becomes quite hard to avoid if you're able to keep up with a well maintained AC like this. Secondly, you have room to experiment on which kind of weapons you want to use as the AC design specs and light loadout should allow you to apply dual assault rifles or even more hard hitting sidearms for example instead if you want something with a bit more high attack power and magazine size. Effectively, this allows players to adapt to their surrounding if they go against a target that has more armor points or like to stay in the air for a very long time. Cons, however, is the lack of armor you have available on your current AC, which can be used against you. For example, going against a heavily armored AC with heavy hitting weapons is ideal for the build as they tend to be slow and they rely on overwhelming force to achieve their goal. However, mismanaging your energy levels will leave you vulnerable even with a good generator applied. This can lead to you being utterly destroyed in minutes if it becomes a 2v1 or just sheer firepower overwhelming you. We do have decent stagger recovery rate, but considering how small most arenas are, it's not always easy to recover from such events. You also have the issue of ammo running out for your primary in PvP. While strong and can inflict decent damage, your magazine is not infinite with the current weapon used. With the following, you need to make sure your shots land and you do not spam your shots too much unless you have the opportunity to do so. This is one of the reasons why I went with the Colette sidearms as compared to everything else. This is the only one that has a decent magazine size to use and carry and still benefit us from start to finish. So that's the build in a nutshell. I'm going to show you some arena battles and PvP battles I had with the following build just so you know how well it works against certain ACs and how from learning from the gameplay, you too can adapt and create your own version. Enjoy the rest of the video and if you like what you see, Please do leave a like, a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one.